Let's talk about Bill Gates in the next pandemic. Um, Bill Gates and the World Health Organization have announced when we will see the next pandemic. And they have a date for us. Uh, so get this on your calendar. Prepare, you know, plan your trips around this next pandemic right now. We'll have more on that in a second and the dates. But you'll remember Bill Gates and the World Health Organization previously held what was known as the 2001 event, event 201, sorry, event 201. Um, and it was about the two, event 201 exercise. It was a simulation involving a coordinated global response to a coronavirus that they held in a simulation just months before COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. So they're pretty good at predicting this stuff. I don't know how they pull this off. How they yeah, both... no, Fauci, remember Fauci told Trump in 2017, not that there could be, not that there might be, but there would be a pandemic during his presidency. Yes. Yeah, and Obama ran exercises for it during his premise, uh, uh, presidency. Preg pregnancy. During his pregnancy. <laughs> during his presidency, too. <laughs> so, At the womb factory. <laughs> so they've just gotten together and they're doing it again now. Uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security and the World Health Organization. I wish I was making this up, but this is this is not a conspiracy theory. They did this, and they just conducted their next pandemic tabletop exercise in Belgium. It's called the Catastrophic Contagion. Hey, honey, where are you going this weekend? I'm going to Belgium. I got a conference. Oh, yeah, what's it about? Uh, it's called the Catastrophic Contagion Event. Oh, what are you guys going to be doing? Oh, we're just planning the next pandemic. Just getting everything ready. Getting cool. everything ready and locked up in the new virus and vaccines. We'll have vaccines ready to go because that's how we do this. We, we plan it. And then we, of course, have the vaccines ready to go. So this is the video that Bill Gates put together along with the team, complete with simulated news reports like this. This is really what they're preparing for us. This video is called Get Ready. Watch. Catastrophic contagion of global challenge. Officials Breaking news. Two Latin American countries alerted the WHO of several outbreaks of a new infectious disease that's mysteriously appearing across the region. Severe epidemic enterovirus respiratory syndrome 2025. Oh, so that's the name, guys. Just write this down. That'll be the name of it, okay? It's going to be Sears. It's going to be called the severe epidemic enterovirus respiratory syndrome in 2025 is when we'll see it. Okay. Now, it says at the bottom this is a fictional scenario, but, but come on. <laughs> Over the past six weeks alone, there have been 500 confirmed or suspected cases reported. The virus could cause a severe pandemic if early containment and mitigation efforts are not successful. The pandemic in this type of situation and trend uh, would be a risk for the global health security. Pandemics are inherently political, financial, and so much broader. We have not spoken on the leadership in the country. And I think that we need to be also very careful. We cannot decide a lot of things without the leaders to be involved and agree on that. Oh, really? That's an interesting point that she's making. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa. All praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadai, Shalom, Lavakarium Shaw, Yasharala. Bill Gates and his announcement of a catastrophic contagion project. Esau Edom the devil is preparing to pull out his sword from his quiver, his holder. Salakia quiver is for the arrows. He's ready to pull out his sword once again. He's ready to pull out his sword once again because he is Esau Edom, the harbinger of death, the virus of the world, the virus. He is a virus. Yahabah Shem Yahushai created this devil to be the wicked on the earth. And he's going to use this devil to bring diseases, 
epidemics, pandemics, pestilence, all across the planet Earth in order for him to establish his new world order. Okay, we have seen the works of this devil when the C-19 came out. Now this devil is ready to come back with a new one. This is all part of the NWO New World Order in order for him to establish a collapse of the dollar, FEMA camps, martial law to be in place so he can herald in his New World Order. Okay? And Yahabah Shem Yahushua Lord is using this devil to complete and fulfill his will. Okay, the, the Heavenly Father is doing all this to for he can fulfill his will. All right. And we're gonna we're gonna listen a little bit more, but let's get some scriptures. Okay, this is second Ezra's chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have I told thee before, then shalt thou understand. That is very the same time, is the very same time wherein the highest, Yahweh, Mahashum Yahweh Shai, will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, we just had a snowstorm that killed many people in Buffalo. There was floods in Spain and Portugal, earthquakes. There's, there's typhoons. Our Lord Yahweh Shai prophesied about these things to come these are the signs and how do we know because we were given the gift to discern the times diligently through the holy spirit and more over through these prophecies brothers through these prophecies and the father the heavenly father is visiting the planet earth with these pestilence okay he's visiting Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. We are living in the end of this devil's kingdom. We are living in this the end of all. Now, our Lord is coming. We can feel it through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? And the Lord is showing. Okay? Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. These are the signs. We're, we're, it's, it's too many receipts. Okay, verse 7. And everyone that should be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. And that is the elect. The elect was given a gift based on Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Was given a gift of faith that he may what? Overcome through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha and believe and then escape by his works. Shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from for me from the beginning. The elect was sanctified from the beginning. But all hell is going to come and all hell is going to break loose. We see this devil working, okay? Psalm 17 and 13, Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See, the heavenly father has deceived this devil with his own pride. Obadiah said, Thy pride has deceived thee, O most proud. Scriptures call him almost proud. But the Lord is going to what? He's coming to judge the house of Israel and he's going to use this devil because this devil has just but a short time. Verse 14. From, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life 
and whose belly thou fillest with the head with thy head treasure. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. This is the elites. They control the substance of the world. It goes back to the blessing. Isaac gave Esau the dew of the heaven, the planet Earth, the resources. Verse 15, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I await with thy likeness. That is the kingdom that is coming back in the spirit of Yah Bashem Yahushad. Okay? This is 2 Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, said the Lord Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what you see right now. The Lord is setting this devil up to complete his will. Let's listen up a little bit more. Oh, instead of unelected globalists making decisions, she's saying, wait a minute, we need to have our leaders involved in this discussion. Wait, so the, the white guy was the... Um, dissenter, like right. the, the one we're supposed to say, oh, yeah, he's a naysayer. We don't agree with him. And right. then she shuts him down. She shuts him down, okay. exactly. Yeah, go ahead. There is no substitute for national leadership. It's important to support the local response or the national response. Training those that are in these areas first, enabling them with the tools, protecting them, and if needs be, regional solidarity first. At this stage, communication is key, and communication should include not just scientists with data, but also social, religious, and political leaders. Trust. This is an essential issue, and trust was broken among countries between populations and health. He said trust is broken. Yes. Germany, I think it was Germany and England. One of those, or Poland, uh, Russia, uh, sold oil and gas to them because they starting to see. In other words, they saying, "Cuff, cuff." You know, spell that backwards, cuff, and they say, "Cuff," of uh, uh, Babylon the Great because of a sanction. Okay, see Babylon the Great, they get tired of Babylon the Great because it's starting their policies that they're trying to sanction Russia, their policies and rules are affecting uh, these European countries, okay, in the EU. So so now that trust is being broken, uh, these European nations are not confining, they're not trusting Babylon the Great, the whore. They see that they're, they're, they're strong on their policies and their threats, you know, against Russia that's affecting them. So that trust is being broken. You see, this is gonna, this is gonna, and shit gonna hit the fan, bro. 2023 shit is gonna hit the fan. Let's let's hear. Systems between healthcare systems and governments. I'm very sorry to say that in uh, 2025 we need to strengthen the health system. WHO needs to be a voice for the voiceless. No one is safe until all of us are safe. As of today, there have been an estimated 1 billion cases worldwide, with more than 20 million deaths, including nearly 15 million children. Countless millions are alive, but left with paralysis or brain damage. Oh, okay, so that's how it'll... So, I'm sorry. You hear those numbers? A billion people, okay? Mm -hmm. Millions of children, and then those who are left will have uh, brain damage and paralysis. So that's... That's what we'll have. That's that's how this is going to unfold. The most successful countries are those which invested in preparedness and trained for this moment years in advance. This included having full-time pandemic preparedness and response teams, which conducted detailed operational planning and routinely tested those plans through exercises and drills. Okay. I should also point out, I didn't recognize her at first. This is Jean Reserve. She used to be a CNN anchor. She used to be a CNN reporter. Did she? Yeah. So now, I mean, just just goes to show you like the cozy. I didn't recognize her, folks. She's her hair is she's older, gray, and I didn't recognize her. Uh, but uh, she was a CNN anchor reporter. And this goes to show you the coziness between the mainstream media and the, the likes of like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the the the, the World Health Organization. 
to, to uh, you know, to well, add I, credibility to a message that they're trying to get out. Right? Yes, but we are also, we have been freelance journalists before, too, and you realize that she's just taking a contract job. You know, okay. we, we shouldn't begrudge someone taking a paying job. Who's, so. All right. And I, and I saw this circulating online really quick, um, and it, I, I found it on YouTube, and I showed Jennifer, because I was like, this is, like, crazy that this was before COVID hit that they were playing this. Yeah, because everything is pre-planned with these devils. We have to understand, I constantly say this through the spirit of your heart by seeing me outside. The Lord has his prophets. Starting with our elders, a great millstone on down. On the right-hand side, doing his bidding. And the Lord also has these left-hand side procrastinators. So-called wicked, so-called wicked prophets on the left-hand side. And that's what Esau is. Esau is trying to mimic and do everything that Jacob was blessed with. He knows he's the wicked, but he's trying to be a prophet on the left-hand side. You know, we see this constantly uh, on, on TV, cartoons, advertisement, on his music, okay, movies, all right? So so this was already pre-planned. This is what Esau does. Scriptures say he does a diligent search, all right? So I'm going to end it. Let me see what I got here. I'm going to end it with uh, Revelation 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And this is uh, Esau Edom. And, they, and that they should kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. All right? And that great sword, he, he's, been, he's been murdering. Habakkuk 2 and 4, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. See, his soul is not, is not upright. This devil was created to be the wicked. Okay, so Yahabashim Yahushua is going to bring him down. I'm going to continue to listen to this. I still got, uh, uh, what's that? I'm in a six-minute mark, you know, 13 minutes, not long. This is very interesting. But uh, once again, Bill Gates in the world. Uh, uh, health organizations, CB, uh, uh, Central Disease Group, CDC, Esau Edom is at it again. May the Most High have mercy upon our souls and protect us from this violent, evil man. He's about to start again. Shalom. Walk.